Now we're going to talk about the front steering settings on the CRU. So front steering section, this is for the servo, of course. As you can see, it's now uh, it's working. So we'll go into the front here settings here of gear compensation, rudder and set center. The set center, as you can see now, this is important for uh, when retracting, it should always go back into the center position, no matter how much you steer. So that's example, I give it full left uh, on takeoff and I would retract my gear. As you can see, it will first go to center and then it will retract. Yeah, I will do a full cycle. Okay, down again. So as you can see now it's working again. So to offset the center, let's say this is center. I just press center position and you will see it uses a new offset. Don't forget, save all settings. For now, I will leave it. Uh, rudder channel, you just uh, select it to the rudder. No need to make a second channel for steering wheel uh, unless you want to use a separate trim, then you will uh, need to make an internal mix, but normally it's not, it's not necessary to do that. So I use the rudder channel if you want to use gyro compensation, you can enable it. Gyro, I will explain to you in a minute what this is for. So you have the set left position that it needs to learn for how much compensation it needs. So what you do is go left, press it once, center, which is now minus one, set right. And you can see now it did. Don't forget, save all settings. And as you can see now, the gyro is working. Nicely following, if you up the gain, it will become more aggressive. If you use less gain, it will become less aggressive. And if you don't need it, just leave it disabled. Don't forget, always save all settings. Thank you. Setting up uh, the brakes. Uh, again, uh, previously what you did was uh, assign a virtual channel for your brakes. Then you go into the brake settings menu, press the brake, go to the channel that you use the brakes for. Set no brake position zero. I use this toggle switch, so I let go. This is zero, so I press it. As you can see, it goes to 100%. And now I'll hold the button. I'll go down to full brake. I press again, and you will see this is minus 100. That's it. Gyro compensation. So same as for your brakes, what it actually does, as soon as you enable it, you get a gyro gain. Uh, what this does is as soon as you uh, the, the model starts to skid, so uh, it, uh, your brakes are not uh, entirely going straight on, you, will, uh, you can set this gain. So if you do more or less gain, it will uh, break more or less aggressive on the left or the right side, trying to compensate for the difference in brakes. Uh, what we also have is the rudder compensation, which is uh, very nice if you have a tail dragger and you want to do a fast, uh, or you want to do steering with, uh, with uh, almost no propulsion, which is very difficult to do. You can use the rudder, comp uh, the rudder compensation. So you just enable it. The rudder gain, if you uh, increase it, uh, it will break more on the left or the right, uh, uh, whatever you do with your rudder channel. So if you give left rudder, it will break more or less on the left. If And same goes for the right. I will leave that off. Pulse brakes, which is a sort of a anti-blocking system. Uh, you can enable it. Uh, what it actually does is uh, give very fast pulses uh, on the current. Uh, so it's a fast switch on and off which you can start from 10% up to 90%. And uh, you can test it very nicely by rotating the wheel by hand, enable it, pull full brakes and start playing with the percentages. You can actually feel the, the, the stuttering of the brake going uh, more or less. Uh, another nice feature is the brake maximum. So what we can do, if you have a mechanical difference and you can't solve it, sometimes this happens. Yeah, what is very easy, just uh, because this is manual driven, you just taxi your plane, brake it. If it pulls to the left, then uh, give on your right side less braking power and vice versa. Not a cool option that uh, that is uh, premium, that, uh, that's very nice, is actually the front brake, uh, which uh, 
many manufacturers can make for you. If you use a third brake, which I use, you can make very short stops and uh, also very fast takeoffs because you can pull full brakes. It will not slip. It will actually be very, very nice to, to use. And uh, what I suggest you use, uh, 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 let's say 100% in the front and use 80% uh, in the back. And you, uh, you, you will, especially for Europe uh, operations, we have uh, short fields, 300 feet and a fast jet, you will need to brake very fast. So with this system, that's very, very well possible. And uh, don't forget on everything you change, don't forget to save all settings. What I also recommend, because this is a lot of work the first time, as you can see, there's an option here on the Yeti with the, with the tools button. If you press that, you can export the settings, which I would suggest you do uh, sometimes. If you need to do a firmware upgrade or a hard reset, just export the settings, give it a file name, press OK, and it will make you a nice uh, export file and uh, if you ever have to exchange a CRU or you can just call the import settings you use the CRU and it will load all the settings that you previous did especially in door sequencer which is a lot of work anyway thank you